Hey guys, it's Mame and my trusty sidekick. Oh, Vinny's here. Welcome in to the Tuesday afternoon live show. We're missing the crafty sidekick today, shenanigans. She's out a little under the weather. Uh, she'll be back with us soon. Um, but we're going to have a great show today. Look forward to spending an hour with you guys this afternoon, hanging out and making something cool. Mame, what you making, babe? Isn't it sad that Shannon's under the weather? She's got a little a, sad. She's had a little like cold this weekend, so she's trying to get better. So y'all be praying for her. And we're gonna miss her. I think this, it's just two live shows she's missed. No, no, she she good. <laughs> I'm supposed to be like, I'm, hey, pretty, she sure, missed too. I'm no. pretty sure she's good either way. No, she is. I was just laughing because I was like, remember she was gonna miss and then she didn't miss, and there was a whole thing about it anyway. There you go. So she may come in the chat. We may see her if she feels like it. All right, you guys, here's the deal. How hard is it to carve out time to craft? Right? And when we just don't want to, we don't want to have to have 500 different products to make something cool, to feel like we've accomplished something. Today, I'm going to give you a project that you will feel like you have done some work and we're just going to work for an hour and see what happens. Okay. I've done the only prep I've done. I'm going to say I have done no prep. The only prep I have done is I have pre-made card bases. That's the only prep. And I really don't know how many I'm going to need. So this is like almost 30. It's almost 30. It's not quite. I do have some other ones if I need them. That's the only prep I've done. Okay. So not only is this project quick, easy, it uses very little supplies. All right. So what we're going to do first, this is the paper pack I'm going to be using. This is Letters to Santa from Cardabella. And I pulled up the ephemera because I think I want to use it too. I'll show you how that works. So basically, if you just have, watch how few supplies we're going to use. I need to dig into Ben for just a second. And I'm just going to, I'm just literally grabbing scrap. Okay. All right, guys, be sure while my is doing that to give us a thumbs up and like the video. If you're new to my May made it, we do a live show on Tuesday afternoons and we also do a live show on Thursday nights. We have pre-recorded videos on Monday night and Saturday night. So lots of opportunities for you to check us out. If you've not done it and you think you might enjoy, click that um, red box and subscribe and ring the bell so you'll get notified every time. Uh, my mom made it has a video that comes up. And if you don't know, all these people that are saying I Vinny the video, they have nickname like in the videos, Vinnying them. So if you say who in the heck is Vinny the video? Well, that means they already did it for me. They liked it for me already. They already liked it. Okay. So this is what I mean by I've done no prep. I was on Pinterest and I saw an image of a card somebody did and I thought, ooh, that's really cool. And if it works the way I think it does, we're going to get a lot out of it. Now I did this off the picture. Okay. But I do know this is how this works. All right. So look what I've done. This piece of scrap, this was from Ben. Okay. This piece of scrap is four and a quarter by five and a half. All right. And you can see, I just started doing this. You watched me do it. This piece is four by four. Okay. I'm going to take this four by four piece and I'm going to slice it in half on the diagonal. And the reason for this is because we're going to make a really cool card using very little cardstock and a tiny technique. Okay. So here's the deal. Taking this piece, we're going to establish ourselves a space. Okay. So I'm taking this piece. These two pieces, I'm going to let live an eighth of an inch away from the top and bottom. Using the same color is probably a bad idea, but I'll bring this up so you can see it. So I've just moved this piece in just as if it were just a card mat. Okay. And I'm going to do the same here. All right. Now what I'm looking for is this line in the middle, this gap in the middle right here, because I want to stamp in that. Now, my hope is that my words, Merry and Christmas. I know Christmas will. I feel like that's going to fit just fit too. I want Merry Christmas to fit right in this section. OK, so here's why I'm doing this. I need to establish for myself a place to line my stamps up. So I'm going to get these two. I cannot do that to y'all. Y'all are going to be like, we can't see what you're doing. Give me one second. When you're at home, you can use the same color. It's not a big deal. But on camera, I don't want y'all to not be able to see what I'm doing. So let me cut this one down again. This piece is brighter. We can see it better. It'll give you some contrast. So yeah, because y'all are like, doing. that's all the same color. We don't have a clue what you're doing. I get it. I didn't either. I mean, no one said that. I'm assuming. Well, that's not big enough. Either. Okay, hold on. This will be good. It'll be dark. 
four. Okay, and don't stress because we have to use scraps to do this kind of stuff to kind of design. I'm taking y'all into the design process is what I'm doing. And you won't have to do this part because I will already have shown you and had it done for you. It'll be a lot easier, save you even more time at home. All right, so we're back to where we started from. Now, here's what we're going to do. Again, I'm lining this up. This will be good contrast. There we go. I'm lining this up so you can see that top portion there. And I'm going to line this up down here. Now, these can be as close to the edge as I, as I want, even if I want them to have like just an, a tiny little sliver, which I do love that. I love to have more space to stand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I love a tiny little sliver. So I'm going to get them placed. This one needs to go over a little. All right. So this is what I'm looking for. Bring that one down. I touched it. See that? Now what I'm going to do is give myself a pencil mark as a guide. Okay. So I'm going to put my fingers here and hold this in place. And I'm just going to run this pencil here. Then I'm going to run it down here. All right, and then pull these guys away. So this is where I need to set my stamp set up. Does that make sense what I'm showing you? So I'm so going to go to the Misty. If I'm you with get you. it. If you get it. If I get it, they got it. We're going to go to the Misty, okay? This is the size of our full card base. I'm going to take Mary and Christmas, okay? And I'm going to put them in there. Won't that be cute? I love this stamp set for this very reason. It's so useful. I think I'm going to slide this up. I have a plan. So instead of doing this centered, this is going to drive some people insane, but I promise I have a plan. I may not need that plan. Maybe I want to punt that plan. Mm. I think I will. I'm going to go back. I, I like how this fills up the area. Also, here's a tip for you. If you find that your stamps are sticking to you, use a pencil eraser. They won't stick to a pencil eraser. And that way you can line them up. That looks pretty good to me. Okay. On camera, to me, it looks way wompy jonky. Let's see. We're going to test it. Before you start making 150 cards with this technique, test it. That's why we're using scrap first. Okay. Mm -hmm. The cool, the thing too is, you know, I'm doing this as you only have an hour to craft. What do you make? If you know you've got an hour coming up, say this weekend, instead of um, doing this part when you have an hour to craft, take 10 or 15 minutes and get it all set up. Yeah. Then when you have your hour, you got your full hour to craft. Nice. All right. So that looks good, actually. That's perfect lineup. Love that. I even have room if I want to add some cutie thing. Do I want to add a cutie thing? Because look, I can add a gift on one end. Yikes, get off my fingers. And I can add, ooh, or I could add holly berries. Do I want to add that? What do I want to add? I this like is, the holly berries. This is where we lose all our time. How about a tree and a present? I think they're too straight up and down. Yeah, I don't care for that. What about a Santa hat? Or you could just use the holly berries. Except that I only have one and I need it on both ends. And I don't want to stamp twice. Mm. Nope. I'm just not going to do it. I'm just going to leave it blank. I can always add bling, right? Okay. So there's that. Now, my stamp set is completely ready to go. I'm going to move this aside. And let me show you why. I want us... Which way do I want to do this? I have one hour. I have not prepped this video, so I have one hour. What do I want to do? Do I want to stamp first? Let's do some stamping. Let's do that. So I'm trying to decide because I, I know how I need paper to be, and I'm trying to decide how many I want to stamp. Let's just stamp. Let's see how long it takes us to do that. We'll just go right back and start stamping. You can do it either way. I wanted to... to um, I wanted to cut my paper first, but I think a better use of my time is to go ahead and stamp first. Okay. So I need my ink bandit because we're going to be doing some mass producing. And I don't want to, you guys have an ink bandit at home? I love these guys. So this way I can put my ink. Let me show you. I can sit my ink like this and it'll just hold it on my rubber bands and it's easier for me to get an ink. Okay. So I'm going to run through really quick and ink up 
I think I'm going to ink up uh, nine twice is 18. That would be correct. Let's do 18 real quick. Oh, pretty. All right, y'all count them. One. Who's in charge of counting today? Look, I put my ink bandit out and I sat it down. Did you see me do that? And I don't like to do that because I do not like picking it up off the surface. Two. <laughs> it reminds me of Doug West. Now, when you set those down, are they going to, the ink going to smear on the one other one? Nope. It's dried already, huh? Until you said that, now it will. Thanks. No, I'm kidding. Um, it's not necessarily dried already, but this ink is really good in that in the fact that it won't smear unless you kind of smear it. Did I give you my cloth? I think I did. You did. I'm sorry. I'm going to wipe this ink off because what's the rule? If you get ink where you don't want it, you're going to get ink where you don't want it. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? That's what you said. That's what I say all the time. It's my saying. All right. Are you counting? That was three. Good job. Good I missed one. job. What are we chatting about today? What's the topic of conversation? Oh, just everybody saying hello so far. Well, howdy, y'all. I'm still a little bit frazzled in this new space, and especially today because our, I guess, IT tech, IT tech is, is, too, is the same word, mm, yeah. or IT guy, was here working on lighting and we're still not quite there. Vinny's still not there. We're still working on Vinny's. Um, and so it got me kind of flustered because I didn't have time to really sit down and go, put this here, put that there. How many is that? I think we're at four. We're at five. Five. I missed one. Sorry. Also, here's something I say to myself. This is not a race. Like, I'm not trying to beat the clock. I'm just trying to use the clock. I've got an hour of time, and I wanted to get some stuff done, and it's early enough that I can be doing my Christmas cards this time of year, right? So, it'd be nice to make 18 cards in an hour, wouldn't it? Yeah. I think so, too. Somebody asked, we got big storms yesterday. We have had big storms a lot. I can't even remember what days, but we have had some really, really, really tumultuous weather, meaning the state and like it'll come through our area and it'll be here for a little while. Then it'll leave and come back. But it's that time of year for us. It's afternoon storms are a very common thing this time of year because we have that because, you know, usually we have a cold front meets a hot front, hot front seasonally. But on days like this, when the temperature drops, it's doing it for you. It'll be super hot, and then it gets cool, and then the, it just don't like it no more, you know? It don't like it. Oh, excuse me. Just don't like it. Is that eight? Um, I'll check. One, two, seven. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, I was right, good. You're doing a good job keeping up. Okay. Uh, Becky, the two card stocks between Cartabella and uh, Paper Accents. Big difference. There's a big difference. The the Cartabella paper is um, uh, textured. And thicker. And it's thicker. So. PA is smooth. And it's not a it's um not a cover sock. Some of it is cover. We do have cover. So if it's cover sock, it's going to be smooth and crisper. It's kind of how a good way to describe it. Where the cartabella is thick, but because of its texture, it's almost soft. Although it holds up well. The, you know, what do you want to make with it? Tell me that. I'm using PA today. These card bases are PA, and I'll show you what it is real quick. It's my favorite. We're we're probably out of stock. We're at we have to order it constantly. This one right here, it's this whole ream of 150 sheets for like nothing. It's so so affordable. I love it. Somebody asked, where do you get a misty? Tell them, babe. You can get a misty at maymaymadeit.com. <laughs> and I'm surprised that Tamitha hadn't already posted the link. <laughs> But it'll be coming in just a second, I'm sure. I think we forget that sometimes we have new viewers that don't know. We have a website. It's mamamamadit.com. We're a craft store. That's what we do. That's our day job. For fun, we do this. Uh, Cheryl, we do not do a crafter after show on Tuesday. No. Just the one show. Um, and, you know, it's just a time for us to 
hang out. If we have something else new that came in, let you see it on Tuesday before on Thursday. Uh, also, you know, just this time of year, there's a lot of stuff going on. So we just added this time slot in uh, for you guys to hang out with us. For me, it's just I have more to show you than I can get done in my regular schedule this time of year because we're prepping for holiday and everybody is. And I'm like, I just want to jump in and go, OK, let's give you some more. Let's give you some more. And now these card bases are made from that PA, PA um, 110 pound, right? Not cover stock. It's not cover stock. So it's not as, it's not crispy thick. It's just a really good card base. And the other thing I like about it is it's so affordable. I don't feel bad about using it just for card bases. Um, Shirley, we did not have a show Thursday night due to the weather. We were supposed to no, have it was some... our AC. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Well, it was because of the weather, because the weather knocked the AC out. So, but yeah, we didn't have any, any coolness. We had a breaker do something. <laughs> and it was hot. And it took our AC out. Okay, now you're at 16. Oh, thank y'all for counting because I done lost count. You're not keeping up. Happy birthday, you? Michelle. I know I saw that just a little while ago. You're going to be 7 0 tomorrow. That's pretty cool. You is, got 10 on me. Do you remember your old fashioned shout out? Is that what they want? An old fashioned shout out? I don't know. We can't do that with these microphones. Have we ever done that with these microphones? It'll make them have a. Some of them have a heart attack. Where probably. am I at? 18? Is this 18 I'm sipping? Lisa said 17. So this, this is must 17? Be, this may be 18. And nine twice is 18, right? It is. Shirley said that was 18. All right, I'm going to count and make sure. Not that I don't trust y'all. You got multiple 18s. Yeah, um... I don't know if y'all are familiar, but in Alabama in the summertime, it gets pretty warm. And when the AC goes out, you go to the house. And that's pretty much what we did. Okay. And One then moment. when we got home on Friday, <laughs> the AC at the house was out. So funny. Fun times. <laughs> but it turned out to not be quite as bad there. I decided to add something. Hope you don't mind. Okay. Hope you don't mind. We'll handle it while you wait. <laughs> my friend, just to tell you a story, my friend Roy is doing some work at my house. We had a water leak. Long story. But all the new floor that we put down, or about half of it, we had to tear back up because of the water leak. And so in the process of doing that, we had to take a wall down and then put the wall back up and when we put the wall back up, we cut the power off to make sure nobody got hurt. And in the process, somebody in Roy's crew cut the power off to the AC. And when you've already had your AC worked on one time and it messes up again, you make the assumption that it's the same problem. Come to find out, $187 later, you find out the breaker wasn't turned on. So note to self, check your breaker if your air ain't working. Just that was a free informational commercial. Check free your informational. All right, check you guys, I'm going to do an inside sentiment because what's a car without an inside sentiment? And I'm going to use one from Mama Stamp Set. This is um, Celebrate the Season. And this is one of the poems that she wrote. And I love it so much. And I love to use it wherever I can. I'm going to test this and see if this is where I want it. I'll tell you what this is in just a second. Gee, I'm doing good, brother. How about you? Gee, you've inspired me with that fall decor. I've already started mine. Already started at home. Houses are glowing with friends and with kin. Church bells are ringing. Peace to all men. Children are dressed as shepherds and kings, singing songs of silent nights and, and on and angels on wings. Not pretty, my mommy. Melanie said that it is 114 heat index in Central Florida where she's at. It's insane, you guys. It's insane. I think it's Central Florida. She might be further south than Central. It's insane, I can't remember. Guys. Oh, look what I did! I put my magnet too low. She said the AC can't even keep up. No, you know a lot of people don't realize this in the South. I don't know. About, 
in Alabama, AC techs will tell you, or AC technicians, or however you want to call them, will tell you that your air is only really, your air conditioner is only meant to get your house 20 degrees colder, colder than outside. And I never knew that until we, um, until I was in the apartment business when we rented, we leased apartments. Um, and so many people would say, my AC is not working, especially if you're an upstairs unit. And the AC guy would come out and go, it's doing all it can do. But when it's 108 outside, you're going to get, you know, what, 88 inside? Is that right? That is math. Or a little better, hopefully. That is math. <laughs> you do get better than that. They do better because they only have to, you know, they only have to heat the hottest part of the day for a period of time. But, you know, heat that index. Is different than actual. You know. Gee's another reason, because now some of our late night friends that are staying up till three in the morning to catch us can now catch us live during the day. That's it. How many of you, I already know, how many of you have finished your Christmas cards? No way. Babe, show him, prove to him what I say. Prove to paper manufacturers. That's what I want to do. I'm always like, why do y'all wait so late to bring us the paper? My stars. Laura says it's 94 degrees in Toronto. What's it normally? I don't know. Well, I mean, that's way up north. Heat index in Tampa was 115 to 117. Shirley, you're my people. She said I hadn't even started. This is, you know why you're my people? Because this is the kind of stuff I have to do. for real through already? This is the kind of stuff I have to do the night before I have to mail my Christmas cards out. I have to rush them on in an hour. She's my people. And I do this for a living. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Look how pretty that stamps. Gareth, now you taking all the fun out. He says he's already finished shopping for Christmas. Yeah, nah. but, but then he just gets to enjoy the season and sit and drink cocoa and watch Christmas movies and sing Christmas songs around the fireplace. You know, do all the beautiful London Christmas things. Herod's. I'm it not bitter. It ain't Christmas if Christmas Eve you ain't out shopping. At the gas station. <laughs> you ain't at the gas station trying to wait, get that last wait, wait, little wait. item. It's not a gas station in England. It's a petrol station. Or a service center. Are y'all service centers? Service. I don't know if it's service center or not. Now, the difference is, look at all my people right there. Haven't started, haven't done them, haven't started. That's right. I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm going to challenge y'all this year. I want you to send out Christmas cards. Now, you're going to be like, man, man, that's a dumb challenge. You are a card-making channel. Nope. You'd be surprised how many people don't do Christmas cards. But what a fun time of year. And you know what else I'm going to challenge you to do? Here's another challenge. You guys love these as many as so much. Like, y'all love them, Okay. But I got a challenge this year. Make cards specifically. You can't do it for everybody. Do this one hour. Get yourself 18, 20 cards made super quick. But then think about the people you're sending them to. You've got so many supplies and so many things that speak to people. Make a card just for them. And listen, they may not keep the card. It may not speak to them like it does you. But how fun for you to sit down, think about that recipient, think about what they like. Maybe while you're doing it, say a prayer for them, you know? You're thinking about that person, say a prayer for them and their family. Well, isn't that just, you know, soak up the season, y'all. Soak it up. And listen, I know it is not Christmas. We're talking about how hot it is. But I was at Rustic Relics yesterday, and I was with Missy, and she was like, it's fall. It's fall. And I'm like, well, you know, it's not fall, because it was literally the hottest day of the year yesterday. It's what it felt like anyway. She's like, listen, on the calendar, it is fall. She's like, and she's right about this. If we waited till the weather changed, we might have a week of fall decor, you know? And she's like, I'm not doing that. She said, it's August. The kids are going back to school. Football starting. That's fall. And I agree with her about that. That's true. She was like, I, and it's funny because Missy's never really been that person. Because I used to fuss at her and go, Missy, you've got to get your vendors to put your fall and Christmas out earlier. How am I supposed to decorate when I can't buy it? You know, so I'm like, I can't shop for it local. I want to buy it, right? So her vendors are already doing fall, and I love it. I was in there. I got stuff yesterday and started because I could get it from um, her vendors who started early. So also, people get triggered by that. Listen, don't stress how people celebrate their seasons. 
Don't stress. I hear people go, don't wish wish the season away. It's the opposite for me. I'm not wishing it away. I'm wanting to enjoy it longer. Because people always say, oh, you're just wishing the season away. Uh-uh, I want to enjoy it in my house for two months, not one week. Right? We don't really have a good fall here. We have a warm winter. <laughs> it's what we have. Pretty much. Everybody talking about who they make cards for? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Lisa has all her cards done for next year. Birthdays, env uh, anniversaries, envelopes, too. You, I just ain't sure I believe that, You are that, impressive. Lisa. You are impressive. You send more Valentine cards than you do Christmas cards? You got that many sweeties? Woo! <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> That's funny. Heidi, I'd like a cold winter. I don't. Man, I'd love a cold I winter. like cold. I can put more clothes on. There's just so much you can take off in Alabama. You know, we my kids were talking about this. They're like, you know, it's like Christmas we wear shorts. We we're telling somebody who was here for the first time, talking about how hot it was. Like Christmas time we wear shorts. Last year it was like 70 degrees on Christmas Day. Actually, it might have been. Where were we on Christmas Day? I think you got a little ink where it wasn't supposed I to did, be. I did, but it's not getting anywhere, so I didn't stop because I was trying to get it done. All right, so we've got outside stamps, we've got inside stamped, and now I'm going to tell you something. Don't blink, because this next part of the process is fast, okay? The hardest part you have to do is you have to pick some paper. Do not blink. Let me put this aside, because I'm going to be wearing those stripes. Let me tell you what I mean. One time I had this sitting here, and I just stuck my arm in it, and I had stripes on my arm for the rest of the afternoon. Um, because no one saw them in time to tell me that I had them. So mm. if you ever come to the store and I have black stripes, you know exactly what it is. This paper pack is so cute. Now, listen, it's different. And that's what I think I like about it. It leans very green and it has this kind of. It's not traditional red and it's not like a um, pink. I wish I could think of the. What is that term? Not pioneer. What's it called? Not pioneer, but when it's like um, I can't think of the name of it. But y'all know what I'm talking about. It's a little rustic. All right, so I'm going to pick out a page. So what I'm going to do, it really doesn't matter. I don't want to use cut aparts. I just want to use a page that I love. Okay, and I'm actually going to pick out two. The snowflakes are cute. I think I want more than just that. Let me see. Oh, this is cute. Isn't that cute? All right, that might be an option. That might be an option. These ornaments are super cute. These snowflakes are super cute. <gasps> this plaid is super cute. Oh, look at that. Yes. You know, this might be a place for me to use that other page that I really, really love. Y'all remember me seeing me seeing? Y'all remember when we saw this one for the first time and how much we fell in love with it? Let's do it. These will look different, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. What I want you to think about is what paper do you have you would do this this technique with? All right, so I'm going to stack two pieces together. This is that whole mass production brain of me, okay? Yeah, kind of red barn, but not kind of like a red barn that's been there for a little while. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to go ahead and cut my designer uh, strip off, and I'm going to do that by measuring my paper to 12 inches. I want to do, ooh, look at that. Get that straight. I want to do a video of trimmer techniques and scoreboard techniques and all that, but I think I'm going to do that on shorts. I think I don't need 20 minutes to teach people that. You know what I'm saying? But I would like to do those kinds of videos. I'll get with Timothy and see what we can work out because I've got some new tips and tricks. Not new. I've just noticed a lot of things that I need to point out. All right, number one, we're going to cut this down four inch squares as many times as we can. So this is an as many situation. Okay. So four, I got three of those and now I'm going to turn these around and I'm going to cut them down to four inch squares as well. We need a new one for that. I would love to do trimmer techniques and I would also love to do scoreboard techniques. Now, I've done that, but I'm going to check this one and make sure it is also four. Because sometimes, look, it's a little shy. That's fine. That won't be a problem. But I just want to make sure I have 
um, I don't have way over for because I've set my stamping up. I don't want to be way over. Do y'all see how fast this is going? We've only been doing this really less than 30 minutes. You know. Let me check this dude. Well, you're at 2.32, so you're at 32 minutes. But I really had to, like, pause and find this. and do. I mean, it has been 30 minutes, but. So see when we think we don't have time to craft? We really do. Because I didn't even, I didn't plan any of this out except my um, pre-cut card bases. All right. Oh, I still need this, but I don't need the arm. Okay, now what we need to do is take these guys and diagonal cut them. I probably could stack these up and do it, but I think I'm not going to. I think I'm just going to do this number. Sink my blade, go up, come down. Don't get crazy on us. Don't go willy-nilly, okay? Don't go willy-nilly. Also, keep them together because, see, I got willy-nilly. See what I did? Every time I try to be willy-nilly. Every time. Keep them together because part of the charm of the card is the split pattern. Okay. So keep them together like that. Let me try doing two at a time because I just want to. I already tried willy nilly and it didn't go well for me. So let's try this. Let's throw another twig on the fire. Yeah. Do you see how I'm putting my hand here and holding this? Also, be careful not to force your blade where it don't go. See how I kind of forced that one that time? Be careful with that. Let's keep them together. I don't know if I'm saving any time by doing that because I'm having to stop and separate them, but we'll see. <laughs> how many of you uh, craft willy-nilly? What is that style of crafting called, y'all? That um, Freestyle. No. Well, that's my <laughs> style. That kind where it's like, like canvas dolls rag hair there's a booth of it at rustic and i can't think of the name of it primitive primitive that's what i'm saying mm. this red is kind of a, these colors remind me of primitive christmas it came to me i, had well, to I was just gonna say rebecca i asked did you mean primitive instead well, of rustic there you go primitive is exactly what i meant thank you y'all are brilliant you don't know any other way to craft than willy-nilly don't mind me. I'll be willy nilly -in. That's what we can call it. If y'all can Vinny a video, we can willy-nilly in the craft room. That's what I'm screaming. Um, am I hungry or do these remind you of how you cut a sandwich? Like that's the only way to cut a sandwich, right? Watch what's fixing to happen. <laughs> I love to be controversial, babe. I know. Started it up. <laughs> how, do you cut a sandwich? up. how do you cut a sandwich? Here's a topic for discussion. <laughs> And then the follow-up question is, crust or no crust? There's another one. Let's go. That'll be fun. <laughs> Somehow I always get to food. <laughs> oh, it depends on what kind of sandwich. Well, hello, Messy Missy. Hi Good to there. see you back. What is this? I have a bit of OCD and have to clean up after making each card. Ooh, that would slow me down a lot. Oh, Terrence says two rectangles, not triangles. That's good to know, Terrence. That's good to know. Michelle, now you just trying to cause a, cause a whole battle. No, there ain't no discussion about what Michelle said. Michelle said it's what? GIF. What'd she say? She said something GIF or some other brand. That other brand? Skippy. <laughs> Skippy. <laughs> no. GIF. Look, look at my trash can that I've turned into a table. All right, now on the brown, I don't start now. I don't start nothing. Peter Pan. That's a fairy tale character. That ain't no peanut butter. <laughs> y'all don't get him started on peanut butter. Seriously. Okay. And I want y'all to know for the first time in about 18 months, I had to buy my own crunchy peanut butter. <laughs> All that crunchy peanut butter y'all sent me finally got gone. I had to buy my own dang jar of Jiffy peanut butter. Did everybody else hold their breath hoping that was going to line up? That's pretty, y'all. Isn't that pretty like that? Oh, my goodness. My question is, do I want to pop this up? Extra crunchy. That's right, Charlotte. I'm not going to pop this up for time's sake. 
But if you do have longer than an hour, pop them up. If you have longer than an hour, add a little um, border. I'll show you. And I do want to say this before we go any further. I'm not saying because I had to buy my own Jif crunchy, extra crunchy peanut butter that y'all need to send me some more. I'm not saying that. We're just being funny because we actually had a um, a subscriber. Who was it? Sent an entire case of um, yeah, crunchy peanut butter. Yeah, sent me a whole case, y'all. <laughs> that says a lot that you had to buy. Now you're out of it. Yeah. We did give some away. Bean took a jar. I took a jar here at work. You know, who was it that brought me them big quart jars we had those to craft Acropolis? Mm -hmm. But it's all gone. Not quart. They were bigger than that. It looked like a jug of milk. <laughs> Look at me getting ink all up. Where'd that ink come from? Well, that's where it ain't supposed to be. You're right. It's on my fingers. Come on, Kathy. You can't say yuck to peanut butter now. That just... Of course, I guess if you have peanut allergies, you could say yuck to peanut butter because that would be bad. <laughs> yeah, Costco size. Them was some big old jars, but they gone. They didn't go to waste. I think this is very um, pretty. I think this is a very pretty card. How funny that it only took a four by four square. And how funny that you can get nine from one piece of cardstock. So what if you threw a monkey in the game and you put one of each on a card? No, sir. It's not allowed. It's not just see, works. just challenge it. It's not how it works. It's just not how it works. Look, if they were, if it was like this with a plaid or some other solid, You know what I'm saying? So you put the red on there just to see the contrast. Woo! That don't work. <laughs> You're funny. Somebody said that's Brenda style. She was in here this morning. Y'all look out. She's planning content. She said the kids go back to school tomorrow and she gets to stop playing mama and she's back at it. That's right. Choose your mothers. Choose Jeff. And Was your mother cheesy? I bet you didn't even have peanut butter. I mean, Jeff. I bet y'all did oh, not have. Oh, we most have certainly did. There wasn't brand. no other kind. We didn't have name brand peanut butter. We didn't know there was a such thing. No. The name brand. Let's see. What was the name brand when I grew up? What was the name Does brand when Czech I grew up? Peanut butter. Check. <laughs> Win Dixie. Check brand. <laughs> I bet they did. I don't remember us ever having name brand peanut butter. I've never really been the biggest lover of peanut. I like. I'm okay with peanut butter, but I'm not like you. Ooh, I love some peanut. It's butter. It's not like a snack snack for me. If I'm gonna eat a cracker. I'd rather have cheese on it. I get that from my daddy, I guess. Yeah, and I get peanut butter crackers from my mom and there daddy. Okay. My favorite cracker snack is triscuits and cheese. Pretty good. A triscuit with anything. I love a triscuit. Pam, that stamp set is called Got the Hickam Ups. It's not called Got the Hickam Ups. That'd be a funny one though. Which one? The one you use for Merry Christmas. Well, I use oh, for Merry Christmas. That one is called Just to Say Merry. No. Say it Merry. Say it Merry. That's what that stamp set is called. Not like say it, comma, Mary. <laughs> I'm sure that Tamitha could post a link for that. Say it Mary. Thank you, Miss Joan. I think she's pretty too. Bean, did she see your picture? She uh, said you're gorgeous. Oh, thank you. I thought you were talking about Vince posted a picture of Bean and everybody's been bragging on her, and she is a pretty girl. Y'all might get to see her. Yep, she's in the back. That'll be up to Vinny. He'll have to go get her. Probably if enough people say, what would they say about Bean? If, you, if enough people say Bean Wing, Bean Wing, because that's what we call her, Bean Wing. Bean Wing. Bean Wing. She is, she had her stitches taken out today. For those of you who know, she was at the vet, you know, two weeks ago. And she had her stitches taken out today and she got a bath. My favorite time to get her is right after her fresh bath. She always smells so fresh and clean. 
Oh, read that to me. Lisa says something. Lisa said, on special occasions, Mama would let me stay up and watch Johnny Carson, and we would eat cheese, ham, and sweet pickles on crackers. Oh, that's delicious. That sounds good. That yeah. does sound good. Now, somebody said something a while ago that just kind of threw me just a touch. Let me see what it was again. Oh, yeah. Karen said peanut butter and bread and butter pickle slice on a cracker. It's a taste treat delight. I'm struggling. Okay, but here's the thing. Picturing it. Here's the thing. Or imagining it. Our friend Tina Montville is one of these people. Is she here today? Tina likes peanut butter and pickles, dill pickles. And our friend Jamie likes peanut butter and dill pickles. And we didn't. Remember, she made us try it. And none yeah. of us cared for it. But the sweet, the bread and butter pickle situation might be different. Because you eat jelly <laughs> with peanut butter. And that's a sweet thing. Yeah. Amy said, roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> Bush's beans. There she is. See, I didn't know she was here today. Um, I told you I was mad at Tina about that vacuum cleaner she introduced me to. Now I can't get my mind off of it. It's all I think about. It's Tina's fault. Yeah. <laughs> I said that I wanted a robot vacuum. So Tina's like, oh, look at this one. Oh, my goodness. Man, apparently this peanut butter and pickle thing is a big deal. It has become a thing. And I don't know where the thing came from because... The first time I ever heard it was Jamie, and she said it was her pregnancy craving. Remember that? Yeah, sounds like I do. And we were at, we were playing cards one night. We used to play cards on the weekends, and we were playing cards one night. She said, okay, this is it. Y'all are trying it. And she went and got the jar and the pickles and brought it out, and we all tried it. And I got to be honest, there wasn't none of us that fell for it. None of us liked it. Do you remember that? I don't that? remember it being Not her kids. None I of them liked it. it. But the sweet pickle thing might be a thing because, like I said, you eat jelly with peanut butter and you don't mind that. And that's just sugar and strawberries. If anybody said to you, eat a sugar strawberry or a sugar grape with peanut butter, you'd probably make a face. But Karen said, I'm 66 years old. I've been eating peanut butter and pickle sandwiches for 64 years. See, maybe it's regional. Where are you from, Karen? Because, like, I only heard about it from my friend, like I said, when it was her pregnancy craving. And now I hear people talk about it. Just like this. How many of y'all ever had a hot hamburger? Like that's okay, regional. Now that's out there. That's Pam regional. said Robert, who is her Alabama honey, eats sliced olives on his peanut butter and jelly. But she loves him anyway. Isn't that, that makes your mouth go whoop. Let yeah, it kind of well, yeah, yeah, yeah. black or green olives. Watch her say Kalamata, then I'm really gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, marshmallows, fluff, and peanut butter is pretty good. I'm now, not we, gonna lie. again, that's regional because my stepmother, who is from Ohio originally, introduced my kids to that. They called them Nana, they called them Nana sandwiches because Nana introduced them to those. They weren't there was no banana in there. And she also introduced them to what we call Karen Coke. You remember Karen Coke? Yep. Now, Nana would make, Nana is Karen. She would take, this was really good, actually, by the way. She would take um, Sprite or 7-Up and some fruit drink. It didn't matter what drink it was, something fruity, and mix them together. And we called it uh, Karen Coke. It was always good, like 50-50 mix. Oh, created to bless said something that I wanted to read. Let me go back up here and say, she said, aren't all hamburgers hot? Yes and no. In Chilton County, a hot hamburger is an open-faced burger, basically. Take the bun, put a patty on each side, and they pour, put cheese on it and onions, and some places put mushrooms, and they put brown gravy on top of it. And that's called a hot hamburger here in Chilton County. Well, it's two. You said two? Yes. You can get a whole or a half. Now, if you get a half, you only get one piece of bun and you only get one piece of meat. But a whole one, you get a piece of meat on both buns. And they're pretty spectacular. Hey, have you had a hot hamburger yet? If you have, you haven't, I got to tell you where to get one from. 
we're, we all have a different place that we like ours from. That's the always place how I like it the is. best ain't in business no more. But that's always how it is. Even with like a cup of coffee, everybody has their favorite place or type of coffee. All right, Tina, we'll have to go to lunch. We'll have to have a hot hamburger together. And I know you eat hamburgers. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's uh it's good. I like it. Um, do you guys? I'm like even slow down because you see how fast I'm making 19 cards. Miss Opal knows. Ooh, I love me some boiled peanuts now. Miss Opal's watching. Um, somebody said that their brother ate three peanut butter and something grilled sandwiches every day when he was a teenager. That reminds me of um, Wayne. When we were teenagers, he ate peanut butter and jelly. He called them triple decker sandwiches. And what he would do is he would put peanut butter and jelly. You know, he'd do bread. Peanut butter, jelly, bread, peanut butter, jelly, bread. That's fine. But then he would literally pride himself in how flat he could squish that and eat it. And I always go, I would say, Wayne, if you're going to squish it down to less than the size of one, just eat two. Like, what's the point in doing all that? But he would pride himself on leaning on that counter and squishing that thing as flat as a fritter. <laughs> Linda, you did now. I'm I'm gonna say this, and you can argue, but it, the boiled peanuts. It all depends on where you get them. Oh, you're gonna say you didn't get good ones. Sometimes they got too much salt on them, or they don't have enough salt. Sometimes they've been in the water too long. And sometimes they just been there too long. Yeah, most of the time. Now I'm gonna tell y'all. I grew up in Montgomery, Alabama, which is about 30 minutes south of Clanton. And I had never heard of a hot hamburger until I came up here to meet my mom's daddy when we first started dating. Never heard of one. Well, you know, we did a little research and we couldn't find any anywhere except in Chilton County. We couldn't find them in Alabama anywhere. You definitely do, Heidi. Somebody asked if you gave um, bean peanut butter. We did, but it didn't settle, so we didn't give it to her again. Yeah, she she don't mind licking it, but it don't come out. It don't stay. Good. It don't stay with her. So um, we quit giving her peanut butter. I don't know if it was because it was crunchy. Or I don't know what it was, but both times I gave it to her, she did not like it. Now, Cheryl, I'm a little confused. She says, I cannot put the jelly directly on top of the peanut butter. It has to go on the other slice of bread. But when you close the bread, you put in the jelly right on top of the peanut butter. So how do you overcome that if you don't like it? I agree with that. I feel like I can't get my jelly smeared well on the peanut butter. No, I don't put mine on the peanut butter either. I put it on yeah. the other side. It's not for me. It's not about like it shouldn't go there. For me, it's about I can't smear it good on the peanut butter. I just make a big mess here. If you want to see something once, let me show it. Our UK viewers ready for this. Hey, UK and Europe, European viewers. Um, is it is it uh, cream first or jam first? <laughs> Cream first or jam first? I want to see what y'all say. And if you've ever done that, what do you say? I have had afternoon tea with clotted cream and jam. And I like jam first and then clotted cream on top. So let's see where y'all land. That's Monica, funny. peanut butter and syrup on a sandwich is outstanding. Linda, you got here just in time. Did you hear my question? Is it cream, cream before jam or jam before cream? Y'all will know exactly what I'm talking about. Is G still with us? He might have checked out. Laurie says jam. Okay. Now, Barb says that her son is a big man, seven foot three inches. That's a tall guy. She said every day he took a whole loaf of bread made into peanut butter and jelly sandwiches <sighs> to school. He would eat a full lunch and then he would eat. All of them peanut butter sandwiches throughout the day as a snack. Look at this. This is proven that I must be English. They're all saying jam before cream. Vinny well, has not tried that yet. Creative to Bless says no? cream first for me. Okay, so is it regional in the UK? Is that regional? Um, Vinny has not tried that yet, but if he ever has clotted cream and jam, he is going to lose his mind. He is going to love it. But you haven't tried it yet. You're going to love it. 
Yeah, peanut butter and honey together is the same effect as peanut butter and syrup. Pretty good. My aunt used to do peanut butter and syrup sandwiches with her chili, Aunt Dottie. And that's how you had to eat it. You had to have chili and that sandwich. And I did not complain about it. Yeah, at her house, you couldn't have chili unless you had peanut butter and syrup sandwiches. And we didn't complain about it. We love it. And you know what was best about them? But, babe, you couldn't eat them straight made. They had to sit for a bit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, they got to get soaking soaked in up. the bread. <laughs> the stuff we know. The stuff we know. But everybody. Now, Amy, when I was growing up, my grandmother would make the um, salmon croquette patties and on a biscuit with cane syrup, which is not the same as regular syrup. Is that needed? I don't know if I like that as much. Uh, Linda asked what size these cards are. They're A2. And just a quick little recap. You make an A2 card base. And then this this pattern is a four by four square that you cut in half on the diagonal and then you glue it to each end and then you have that section in the middle. Now, this is I like this. I think I just don't care for the silver. I like the black. I don't know that that's necessary. I don't know. Let's All do it with gold. Got a vote on Sherry says peanut butter and syrup with chili is great. It's good. I enjoyed it. Y'all don't get him excited about chili because he ain't having that for dinner tonight. No, we're having fish tacos for dinner. <laughs> we're having fish stick tacos. Let's get for real. <laughs> I don't know about those. Let me show you something else you can do. Let me show you something else. The reason I had it, I, did I show y'all that I had this ephemera pack? I also thought we might could use something from the ephemera pack, but this may be too big. Can't find the opening. There we go. These all may be too big. And then I'm going to look at stickers. I, I think you can just doll these up a little bit, but I don't really love all of that. Now that's interesting. Shannon says they do chili with cinnamon rolls in Wyoming. And she had not heard of that till she moved there. These This ephemera Ooh, today. have mercy on my soul. What idea. you talking about, Tony? Eagle brand syrup mixed with butter on a hot biscuit. Have mercy on my soul. That's good stuff. Oh, these stickers are going to be good. Look at the size of them. Let's try a sticker. I'm sorry for everybody that watches us and they're like, it always goes to food. It's just the universal Ooh, language. We can all syrup. speak it. Have mercy. We can all speak it. Where I grew up, or really in South Alabama, it was cane patch cane syrup. They don't make it no more. But ooh, it was good. Okay. The sticker's kind of cute, right? I don't know. I think they don't need anything. What do y'all think? I'll I need care. to know your thoughts here. A hot biscuit? What's a hot biscuit? You must not be from around here. I need to know their thoughts. I think simple looks better too, as I keep sticking. Wait a minute. Let's see if I remember this right. Didn't you say that in the UK that they called a biscuit a scone? No, a cookie is a biscuit. A cookie is a biscuit. Well, let me say this again. Let me try that again, okay? They say, whenever they try, whenever I've seen people on video try an American biscuit, they say that's a scone. Okay. But in America, whenever I've had a scone, it's nothing like our biscuit. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know if maybe our scones are wrong or their biscuits are wrong. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't know Okay. if that makes sense. But a cookie over there is a biscuit. Yeah, I do have a small, a small oh, stamp, which might be better. Okay, so Nona likes them both ways. I think I prefer the gold. And I think I would prefer it a size smaller, but I'm out of those. You can see I love this bling and my small ones are gone. But I did do the small black one. I think that size in gold would be my favorite. I just don't have any in here. But look at there, y'all. It has now been almost an hour and we made 19 cards in an hour. And listen, 
they are also stamped on the inside. So they're ready to go. You know what I'm saying? You want me to go get a bean? Oh, y'all want to see bean? Yeah. That just freaked me out so bad. I got unsweet tea from lunch. This is my drink from breakfast, and I just grabbed it, and it was not it was Diet Coke, and I just freaked myself out. I'll be right back. Hey, Diet Coke is the best. I love biscuits that are cookies. Isn't that confusing? Let's see the bean. She's coming. She's so beautiful, y'all. She And she is the sweetest girl. Now, she can be rambunctious because she's a puppy, but she don't know she's she's not puppy size. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But she's the sweetest girl, and she's so well-behaved. I'll tell you all this real quick. She um, So we at this point in time, she's going to training. She'll be gone for a month, y'all. I'm really sad about that, but she needs to do this. My brother has a great name, and he brought Grizzly here to the shop one day. And Grizzly could run around, and then he would go, Grizzly, come. And that dog was right by his side. Grizzly, drop it. He she, he just dropped whatever. So I'm like, I want whoever trained Grizzly to train Bean. Because we want Bean with us all the time. But I'm worried about the door and stuff like that. Like if somebody opens the door and she runs out. But Grizzly would just doesn't even use a lead. Just walks out. No big deal. So anyway, um, at home right now, she can't be with the weans because she's just paws. And we don't let them be together. We have a, we have a, system we call it the puppy parade so what happens is in the morning Bean gets out she goes outside she comes in and eats her breakfast then Vince will sit down and he puts his hands around a little chest and he goes all right it's puppy parade time and she sits right there between his legs while we open the door to let the three the three wings out and she gets a little puppy parade and then that's it and so then they go outside and then when Bean goes up they come back in we have a system that we have to do but um hopefully after um the training hopefully after that happens uh, they'll be better because we're he's asking us what all we want her to do and so that we're giving him a list of all those kinds of things we need I saw somebody say we need to train too yes that's how it works you he does he does so much with her and then we have to go spend so much time as well so I'm excited because I want her to be um, I want her to be with us all the time I just love having her around isn't that cute the puppy parade and sometimes we do it in the kitchen sometimes she and I sit at the table and they puppy parade by the little three of them run out and it's so cute um, I hear something. Bean wing. Bean get, 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 get in that chair. I don't think she knows how to do that. She's never done that before. I don't think she'll do that. I don't think she will. Let's see if we can get her up where they can see her. I'm going to make you big. I know I know his camera's not great, but if y'all want to see her, so let's get her. B-Ween. B-Ween. There it goes. There's the bean hugging her daddy. Oh, goodness. Did you just wake up from a nap? B-Ween? B-Ween? Did you wake up from a nap? You did. Did you have a good bath today? Was you a good girl? Was you a good girl? Did they say you did your stitches good that you left them alone? Did they fuss about her stitches? They did not. She left them alone so well. Day two, she found them. But I could tell her to stop, and she'd stop, and they stayed really well. Big girl. She's a big girl. Oh, her paws are something else, y'all. Uh -huh. And she loves to... Um, I took you out of the big screen till you get her back if you want to. No. She love When you get her up in the morning, I, get, I, we, I do morning with her. Vince does night with her. Hey, darling girl. Say, Mom, and, oh, you smell delicious. You smell delicious from your bath. I do mornings. And so when I get her, when I open her kennel, her kennel's in our room. So when I open her kennel and I stand beside it, she puts her foot out on my foot and then stretches. Like she just wants to touch me, right? All right, explain the orange. Because Tamith is like, look at that orange. Yep, she has a hunter orange collar to keep her from getting shot in the woods the other thing is we went round and round about the color for her and the problem is everybody thinks she's a boy understandably like it for some for some reason a big hunting dog looks like a boy that's just how it is and we were like if we put like purple or any color is going to look like a boy and we felt like orange looked more girly and also orange is a really pretty color on her brown we tried a lot of different colors, didn't we? We we literally at the Deer Expo, Vince and I, that's another thing. People have their dogs at the Deer Expo, and I'm not ready to do that with her yet till she has her training done. Look how shiny she is after that bath. Yep, she looks good. Um, 
but we stood there at the deer expo and they had all these colors and we were going to color after color after color so, but orange is just her so, color and the funny thing is the breeder had an orange collar on her so it just kind of it's her color she's a smoky at heart all right let me read what's being said real quick it's probably true she is so big becky she is so big yep she's getting big big wing Oh, Bean, oh, Bean, oh, Bean, oh, Bean. Uh-oh. Are you in my microphone? Let me have it back. Um, when she goes downstairs, I don't, we don't want her to go downstairs by herself so I can hear her go down the stairs. And I don't care how many times you call her, she won't come up until I go, um, oh, Bean, oh, Bean, oh, Bean, Bean, Bean. Like you have to talk to her like that and then she'll come up the stairs. But she won't if you don't, if you don't do that. She is, her official name is can you do it no vincent's petite hair cobayer yes which means vinnie's, vinnie's little, little butter, butter bean, bean. <laughs> that's how we translated it anyway she's not gene with the rest of the dogs yet i was just saying she goes to her training she'll be gone for a month for training and it's not that she's not um they don't fight but she has paws and legs they don't have they don't growl at each other or snip or anything. They actually have, they really like each other. Presley really loves Bean and Bean really loves Presley. But the problem is, you know, when Presley does this to Bean, it's nothing. But when Bean does that to Presley, she can send it across the room. <laughs> so we try to be careful. How does her stitches look where she got them out? I think they look fine. I think it's, it's a little red. It's looking. a little red, but it's only where the stitches were. Are we yeah, talking she, about you? She is. Um, they, they look very similar to German short-haired pointers, but she is technically a French pointer. Um, and the breeder that we got her from told us that it, she was uh, a hunting dog with an off switch. So how a German pointer can be very hyper. High energy. Real high energy. Uh, and Bean can be too. She has what we call the zoomies. When she gets out of that kennel, buddy, she's ready to go. Um, but, but she can wear out easy. But she can, if you can get her attention, she'll calm down pretty quick. Well, also she wears out easy. Like you can take her in the backyard and you can run for a little bit and she'll come in the house and sleep. Like she, yeah. and I know like with Josh, my son Josh has a GSP and Hazel does not wear out like, like Bean does. Hazel can stay pretty hyper. There's other things. The big difference in them is not so much their look as it is their temperament. And yeah. that's what we were looking for. And so when I did my um, research for, we wanted a dog that could just be with Vince. Like I just want her to be his Velcro dog wherever he goes. Right. And um, I was doing my research about it and I joined a bunch of groups on Facebook and I asked, I had this list of questions and there's something about dog owners. If you put questions out there, they'll answer you. And so that's what I did. And this breeder actually contacted me and said, this is the dog you're looking for based on my questions. And um, they were right. I mean, they were right. We were now we did have her girls get spayed. We had, her, we had her spay because we, we spay all our animals because we don't want to litter. We certainly don't want to accidental litter. Not because I'm against having litter. I just can't. I don't have the time to raise a litter and do what you need to do. So we always have them spayed. But our um, trainer that she's going to go to was like, are you sure you want to do that before I turn her into this amazing bird dog? Because you're going to want to breed her. And Vince is like, I don't ever want to breed her. Like, it's just not. We don't want to do that. But. All right. No, I told him one or the other, but not both at the same time. Come here. Good girl. Yeah. Do, uh, don't all dogs have the zoomies? Uh, ours do. Jean says she's three times bigger. How big will she get? From looking at the breeders, like looking at her parents, I think she might be almost as tall as she's going to get. I hope she gets about three more inches tall. What do you think? I'm hoping for about three more inches than she is. Well, they say normally when they get to be about nine to 10 months, that's, that's about full grown. And we're literally six months in. Yeah. In a week or so. Six, a little over six months. So we'll see what will happen. Because the 24th of July was six months. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, 
So now y'all got to see the bean. She is she is just the sweetest thing. I need to bring, bring Presley to work for y'all to see Presley. Maybe while Bean's at training, we can bring Presley one sure. one of the days because y'all won't believe Presley. She she's a different she's a different animal. She um one more time in Vinny's lap, please. Can you get her up there? Yeah. Um, take your mic off because I don't want her to rip the cord. I just thought about that when she grabbed mine. This, um. Presley is a different, she's different. You need to see her. She's thick. Oh my goodness. Yes, Tamma, the four year olds do have zoomies. They do. Get in Dave's lap. There you go. Say, Dad, this chair is not the size of our chair at home. <laughs> this chair is not the size of our chair at home. B Wing. What? What? You see, Mama? What, B Wing? Oh, B. Oh, B. Can you see for daddy? Can you show him crazy eyes? Show him your crazy eyes. Show him when you get crazy eyes. She's so funny, y'all. She has a great personality. I think she she was so good. She was a good one for us. Look at that. Oh, get a hug. Get a hug. She likes to tuck. But this chair ain't big enough, daddy. So I can't tuck my nose in the side. Oh, she gone. Is she gone? No, I caught her. <laughs> Now, listen, she could leap over him. He's not an obstacle. She literally could jump from this side across him. This oh, yeah. morning, Vince was trying to be cute. She got one of, let me tell you what she loves, socks. <laughs> she got one of Joe's socks, and I have a baby gate up. And I said, throw that sock across that baby gate so she can't have it. He threw it, but he missed it. The air caught it, and it hit the ground. And so there she goes after it. And I thought she'd go around the living room and get it. She did not. She leaped over the love seat and the end table. Yeah. She just went. Over both of them. <laughs> she need to go around her. She does yeah, think she she's, a lap, she's dog. a lap dog. She does. For sure. She does. All her spots are my favorite. All her beans. Beanwing. There's her face. She's in a good spot then. Beanwing. Beanwing. Let them see your pretty face. Beanwing. Look at mom. Look at my pretty face. Look at my pretty face. <laughs> you keep looking at them. What's over there? Hi, pretty girl. Oh, pretty girl. He's so pretty. Y'all got to see her good then. That was pretty good. I see you. I see you. Look at her head's as big as yours. She's, big. <laughs> She's a lap full. That's for sure. <laughs> All right, guys. That is it. We are going to fin finish up today. So how cool. You can let her roam. Let's see how she does. Um, how cool that we did 18 cards in less than an hour. Not much less than an hour, but pretty cool. Um, we even had time for a good old bean sighting. So I hope you enjoyed this. I love these kinds of projects. Let me take Vinny off. I have him still on. I love these kinds of projects. And again, this is the kind of thing when you're like, man, I just want to send out Christmas cards this year. I need to get started. You can get these done so quick. 18 cards in no time. All right. Vinny's going to close this out in prayer. If something falls, beans in it. There's, if you hear something, it's just bean. Yeah. So that's all there is to it. But Vinny's going to close this in prayer. All right, let's pray, guys. Hey, God, thanks for the day. Thanks for this time we could hang out with our friends. Well, we pray blessings on each person watching today, God, and we thank you for each and every one of them. We thank you for the love, for the encouragement that they give to us, Lord, and we just pray that today something we said or something we did might let them see just how much you love us and how much uh, you love each of them. Lord, we praise you. We thank you again. Lord, for those that might be hurting or those that might be struggling, we lift them up to you, God. You know their needs intimately. And I just pray, God, that your peace and your comfort would come upon them. And, Lord, that they would know that you're there. We ask it all in your precious son, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I saw a question right before we bowed our heads, and I was like, I hate to not answer it because um, do her ears get wet when she drinks her water? It does here at the shop, but at home I have one of those. I have one of those here, too. Yeah, that's true. We did get you one because she was dripping. But we have one of those bowls. Look on Amazon. They're really cool. It's a bowl. And this, okay, beans out. Beans out. And this thing floats on the top, and it keeps beans. her from doing that. We'll save that for Thursday. We've been going a while. All right, you guys. Until next time. Bye now.